Charlie, congratulations. Back to back Coleman medals. Watching that highlight package there, even I was up and about, and I'm a Tiger, an ex Tigers player. How does it make you feel looking at yourself kicking goals once again in season 2023? Oh, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it's a bit awkward when you're standing here watching yourself there, but um, I mean, I had such great teammates this year supporting me, kicking the ball down to me, so. Um, a lot goes to the people around me, as you know. Kicking. How many, how many three coal medals have you got yourself? <laughs> I've, got, I've got three, yes. Thank you for pointing that out. <laughs> um, I didn't pay you to say that, but thank you. Now, uh, let's say it's the return of the key forwards this year. It's the first time for a while that we've had three key forwards kick 70-plus goals. 78 goals after 64 last year. Leading into finals now, how are you feeling? How's the, uh, well, how's the mood around the football club? Yeah, it's um, obviously the last 10 weeks have been a bit of a, I mean, the whole year's been a whole whole roller coaster. Um, you know, our fans stuck by us. They were uh, coming out for us a little, for a while there. And um, I'm glad we, we kind of turned it turned around the last 10 weeks. Um, just listening to Sheezel up there talk about his journey. And um, there's been a big group of us. I mean, I'd love to leap big Ollie um, here, you know, first year just comes slot straight into finals. So um, there's a lot of people that have, you know, been put in a lot of hard work and um, there's been some big games recently that are, you know, going to put the boys in good stead for finals. It's been 10 years since the Blues have played finals football. Has, has it dawned on you how big the club could actually be if you do get on a run during September? Oh, yeah, definitely. I think, um, you know, as Richmond, same thing. is a massive club. I mean, everywhere you go, you, you know, you get Blues supporters yelling at you, screaming at you, and um, it's, a, it's awesome. It's a great feeling. Um, you know, they should be excited. It's been a journey for them also. And, yeah, as you said, 10 years. Like, I started with Jamo. He's in the room somewhere around here. I've seen he's probably having a beer. Um, but, you know, you get to, you know, experience this journey with so many good people and a lot more people um, are a part of it that, you know, that are under the club right now. So, um, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Now, the game's not till next Friday at the MCG against the Swans, but how many times have you played it in your head already? That, that first final for you, the first final, obviously, for Patrick Cripps as well. It's going to be such a big game. Yeah, it's been, um, you, know, we've, you know, we've been talking about the season a lot. We, we probably, at one point there, weren't thinking about finals for a while. So, um, to be honest, I haven't really thought about it too much. I've been um, building a fence in my backyard with my mate today. So, I've been trying <laughs> to kind of keep away from this, that, that chat as much. But it was pretty hard when I was sat on my table next to Errol. So, um, yeah, it's been, it's going to be good. I'm sure the strength and conditioning coach is rapt to hear that, mate. <laughs> And uh, finally, we, we saw some amazing goals in that package, but you've become to known as the sort of double cobra king, and you've got the absolute rig for it. Any originations for, for where the double cobras come from? Oh, not really. I don't know. You just kind of get a weird, I don't know, it was just something when you kick a goal, I guess, and it just comes out sometimes, and not all the time, of course. There might be some closer-up goals that I don't give it too much, so, yeah. <laughs> Well, Sarah, hopefully for the Carlton fans next Friday night versus the Swans, they can see this big man who's gone back-to-back -back in the Coleman, a few double Cobras, and the Blues can have a win. Well done, Jack.